Le Petit Gars movies. For sponsoring this lovely video, boys. Should we do our Zevia song? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Lord, for Zevia. Zevia. This, this is a disaster. <laughs> let's talk about. Let's talk, let's talk about, about movies. movies. That's what we're here for. So, so we want to get on going and say our top three films each of 2016. Toast to Zevia. Right. Andre's, Andre's third favorite yeah, film of the year. So loud, we're gonna go to Andre's third favorite. Um, so sponsored by Zevia. <laughs> His third favorite film of the year is sponsored by Zevia. Favorite movie. Favorite movie oh, of um, the year. From my third favorite movie of the year, I think I'm going to say Silence. It hasn't been released oh, for a while. Director's Guild much? No, I didn't go to a Director's Guild screening. But yeah, um, it was really good. The cinematography wise, I think. The writing was good, but the narration seemed a bit uh, repetitive. Give it a numerical rating. A numerical rating. What's what can name? we get out of seven? Rating. Well, if I was gonna give it a um, numerical rating, I'd give it. You can do decimals. An 8 out of 10. Not yeah, the best yeah. Scorsese film. Scorsese. Not the worst. Actually, what's the worst Scorsese film? That's a topic that, for another video! Be, top 10. It's be, the it, it, it com, be, be this, top um, 10. Scor worst Scorsese, Scorsese film. It'd be this short film called The Big Shave. Oh, I love that! <laughs> okay, now moving on to Chip. Okay. Uh, no. Your turn. <laughs> okay, my turn. No, we're <laughs> no. This is a horrible disaster. My third favorite movie of the year would have to be Kubo on the Two Strings, which comes from the Leica Company. Leica is a pioneer, in my opinion, in stop motion. Actually, they're not a pioneer because the art is old. So, but they're basically they're the only company that still really does it full time. And Kubo on the Two Strings, I think, is easily their best movie. Coraline, <coughs> no. Uh, what is it? Paranorman? Uh, no. Uh, Box, Box Trolls? That was special. <laughs> Sponsored <laughs> by... <laughs> Sponsored by Zevia. <Sevilla. laughs> oh god, my nose. I really like Kubo and the Two Strings. The story is about Kubo. Well, I mean, I think... You can get... okay, how many strings does he have? <laughs> Two. Uh, it's a... It's a... Um... A What's it called? Basically, it's a story. And it's a story that you have to see for yourself. I don't want to explain it. You don't need to be explained. But it's just different. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> no, let me start over. Cut this out. <laughs> We're recording. I like this film not only because of how lifelike it feels for being a stop motion, but because of the compositioning of the shots are like that of like, I don't want to say a real. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy. Overall, my numerical value for this movie is a solid 8.4 out of 10. <laughs> well, my number three is Nocturnal Animals. I really like Nocturnal Animals. Um, the film, the film is is by is by, <laughs> the film is directed by Tom Ford. Um, and Tom Who's Ford. Who's also a fashion yeah, guy. What Tom, a... Ford, Tom Ford's also a fashion designer. It's the second film. His first yeah, film right, was not even was it. Shut up. So Tom Ford's <laughs> first so film was, was a single man, um, which is about, it's about, it's We're I, not talking about okay. that. Just so anyway, on. Nocturnal, <laughs> oh my God. Nocturnal Animals is, it's, I don't want to explain it because there's a lot of mis mystery. It's a mysterious movie. You should go watch it. Um, it's very, it's right? a very disturbing movie though. The bare bone synopsis is a, is a woman played by Amy Adams gets this book that's written by her ex husband, and um, <clears throat> it's kind it's of a, about her. and it's sort of about her, but it, and it's in a very weird way. Um, this film is really good. Um, it's it's uh, it, I, the only problems I had with it was it was a little bit too like I don't know it was a bit convoluted. The, the cinematography was very like there were a lot of shots, and I think some of the shots could have been done. In a slower way, but yeah, I give this one a nine out of nine out of ten. 
No, as we said, these are top three favorite films. I mean, not top three. No, they're not. Don't. I'm not. I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. Don't even call me that. I'll punch you so hard. We're not even like intoxicated or anything. <laughs> we're just drinking. <laughs> we're literally just drinking Zinia. Drink Zinia. All day. <laughs> And it's not even good. You should start going. We, we finish each other's zevias. <laughs> we finish each other's zevias. Oh, my second favorite film of this year um, was Moonlight. Moonlight, because Moonlight is a fantastic movie, but. I think the problem with it was it tackles so many topics. Well, first it's just trying to be a coming of age film. Second, it's trying to be a film about race. Third, it's trying to be a film about sexuality. And it sort of just clusters your mind. But other than that, it's such a calm, beautiful story. Cinematography-wise, great dialogue-wise. Out of 10, I give Moonlight um, a 9 out of 10. Well, personally, I feel like a, mo a movie <coughs> like Moonlight or Manchester by the Sea or Nocturne of Animals would be in my top three, but I purposely didn't see those films because I'm too cool. My number two film happens to be Arrival, starting Amy Adams and Hawkeye. Hawkeye? <laughs> Hawkeye! <laughs> Jeremy Renner? Hawkeye! Oh, hot! I thought you said hot guy. <laughs> hot guy! Arrival is a, it's a sci-fi <coughs> film that's really unex... Um, the movie that I compare it to the most is Donnie Darko in a way where it really isn't like that in story wise. But the way that it makes you think is kind of similar. This whole kind of time travel aspect about it. But to give you a brief. That's a, that's a spoiler. Or not time travel, but well, up to you. But basically. <laughs> my saying. <laughs> but that's just his theory. I gave him theory. Okay, but to continue um, the synopsis of it, Amy Adams. And the whole world, <laughs> the whole world is the whole world is surprised by a, a <laughs> stone. Baby Adam, baby Adam of the whole world. <laughs> the whole world is taken into shock when a giant stone, or several stones rather, land in the earth. They're slightly hovering above earth, so they call all these. All these linguists and physicians to come by. <laughs> physicians, linguists, linguists, and like scientists to come by to investigate because they found aliens inside. So Amy Adams and Hawkeye discover what's inside this. <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> that was Overall, Amy Adams' performance is phenomenal in it. The cinematography is really good. It has a, for me personally, it has a little bit of a Christopher Nolan feel to it. Um, don't laugh, please. And um, the guy, the guy who uh, made it, is also making uh, the new Blade Runner. The new Blade Runner, which I, for one, have not seen yet because it Ridley hasn't Scott. come out. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Ridley, Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott make, didn't make a rival. She made Blade Runner though. Ridley Scott is not a woman. <laughs> I mean, I mean I no, I slurred my key. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I did this Zevia sponsored movie a solid nine. No, 8.9 out of 10. Good. Moving on to Chester, by the way. That is his <clears throat> name. Thank, thank you for that introduction. Uh, my second favorite movie is um, it's La La Land. Um, I think La La Land is a spectacular movie, and I was really debating whether it was my first or second favorite movie. Oh my god, that was red. I saw red in that. <clears throat> so, um, La La Land is is a really it's a cinematic marvel of of a film I think, um, and I and I would be really surprised if it didn't win Best Picture and, and it would be fully deserving of, of winning it. Um, La La Land is a beautiful musical um, directed by the the writer and director of Whiplash. He also wrote and directed this. And um, Ken Cloverfield Lane. He wrote, he wrote, he wrote Ken, Ken Cloverfield Lane. Damien Chazelle. Yeah. Um, it's a really it's a really really well done film. It's got um, a lot of great performances from, from all the main actors and actresses. It's got really great uh, cinematography, really great directing, great music. It's a really, really great film. Um, and I, I'm actually giving this one a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, and 
It also, La La Land, it brings back like classic cinema, like singing oh, yeah. in the rain and I, stuff. I think of, I think of, when I think of La La Land, I think of that scene where Mary Poppins gets in, um, the where, you know, that scene, how do I say, when the Chim Chimini guy, um, when he's sweeping around dancing with all those penguins, the colors are so reminiscent to me of that. They're just so bright and bold and they mean so much to the film. Okay, now we have reached the peak of this whole mountain. We did of, it. No, we're not, we're not done. <laughs> still ever. Number one film. We didn't After, do it. <laughs> we did it. We didn't do it. Okay, and our number one films of the year, starting with me. No, <laughs> why would we do that? No, it goes like this. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Are you just saying your first favorite movie over and over and over again, yeah. and then I say it once? <laughs> yeah. yes. All right, we're gonna start with on. We're gonna go with Andre again. <sighs> My first favorite film is Hunt. For the wilder people, uh, I would—I mean, I was gonna put La La Land as my first pick, but Chester did it. I bid for my second. You could still do the film. No, no, I don't want to do it. Okay. Hunt for the wilder people is better. Okay. And why is that? Okay, Hunt for the wilder people is <laughs> is a fantastic film. You know, I never thought of New Zealand as filmmakers. Like, <laughs> big. What's New Zealand? <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I love Hunt for the Wilder People because it's the most entertaining film I've seen almost this year. It's so funny, the characters are so lovable, and um, it's just beautifully shot. The New Zealand is beautiful. Another film where New Zealand is beautiful is Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Rings. It didn't take place in New Zealand. It was Mordor. It was you shot in New Zealand. Yeah, you never said it did. Yeah, it was not filmed in Mordor. <laughs> what? You don't know? You were just you were <laughs> <making> <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Okay, Andre, this on a numerical, a what would you give it on a numerical scale? I give uh, Hunt for the Wilder People 10 out of 10. Oh, that's great, Andre. Really something. And although this film has already been mentioned previously, La La Land is my favorite movie of the year. I say this for so many of the reasons Chester discussed, but for so many more. How it, how it shows LA in such a light. You either see it as like a place of Hollywood and love, or you see it as a scumbag, weird, stupid, trashy place. And this kind of combines both elements to make something really beautiful. <clears throat> how you get these two diverse characters in the sense that you don't, you just don't, you just don't get them. And in the end, spoiler alert, it's good. In the end, spoiler alert, it's good? <laughs> <laughs> what if someone goes and sees it and mad? But anyway, I have to give this film um, lower than both of these guys, but I have to give this film a 9.5 out of 10. Okay. Um, my favorite movie of the year was uh, 20th Century Women. Um, I, I doubt that any of you would have heard about it at that point. Oh, yeah! Um, it hasn't really come out yet. 20th Century Women is this really good movie. Um, it's it directed by Mike Mills, who directed another one of my favorite movies, um, Beginners, which is, it, you really, you have to watch that movie. It's on Netflix. It's, it's, a, it's a really good movie. Um, and 20th Century Women is, is so great as well. Um, it, it's, 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 about, it's, it, it's about, it's an autobiographical film to a certain extent from the, from the director. <laughs> from the director, um, and and it, it's it's such a it's such a well done movie. I'd say La La Land is a better film on a, on a technical level, but on an emotional level, and on a on a screenwriting level, and on a, on a character level, and I, I think Twentieth Century Women is 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 the best movie of the year. Um, I, I think all the performances are great. I was I was lucky enough to go to a screening of Twentieth Century Women, where the director and um, one of the actresses. La -dee -da, am I right? Um, um, if, if you if you live in Los Angeles, I don't know where it's playing in other states, but if you're living in Los Angeles, then um, it, it's playing at, in um, Hollywood. So go see it if you can. But if you can't, then I that's I feel bad for you because it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's that's it.